Have you got rosemary growing at home? It's a really useful herb to have around, you know. Hi, I'm Fiona. And I'm talking about rosemary today. Useful for your horses. Most of us don't think about rosemary for horses. So you can cut it, dry it, powder it, and brush it on horses, and that'll help repel flies and ticks and lice. Um, you can make it into a spray. So what you would do is an infusion, jug, bowl, put the rosemary leaves in the bottom, pour boiling hot water, and that becomes an infusion. Now, if you want it to repel flies and insects, you might want to boil it up with lemon. If you want to use it as an antiseptic, you could just use the rosemary because it's got antiseptic properties. If you're using it as a fly repellent, you could add other herbs. You could add a bit of garlic, you could add a few drops of neem oil for a really strong scent, or you could add lavender oil, or you could simmer some, um, perhaps some wormwood, other herbs, herbs in there as an insect repellent. It's great as a final rinse for horses, particularly dark horses. So again, you make the infusion, you shampoo, you condition, and then you sponge or you pour the rosemary infusion over the horse and it's got a lovely silky feel to the coat and the mane and the tail. You can pop a bit of vinegar in there. You could make a rosemary vinegar. So you have your apple cider vinegar, put the rosemary leaves in the apple cider vinegar for a week or two, strain out the rosemary and then you've got the vinegar to dilute and use as a wash after you have finished shampooing and conditioning your horse. Great for dark horses. It can be used as a wormer. I wouldn't rely on it as the only form of worming, but in the full moon you could feed half a tablespoon of, of um, powdered rosemary leaf and you could feed that for a few days around the full moon. It's a great circulatory herb, so it may be useful for founder. Don't feed it to pregnant mares not good for that. You could dry, use it dried around the stable so for example if you're storing your saddle pads or your horse rugs in some sort of container you could put the rosemary in there to try and repel the insects and to perhaps help with the mildew or any mould that may happen in there so that's useful for that. You could hang the sprigs, you could tie the sprigs together and hang them around the stables. Wormwood and other insect repellent herbs would be really useful for that. You can make it into an oil infusion for arthritis, either by itself or with other herbs. You can feed it and it's got antiviral properties as well as antifungal properties. So I have used it for horses with um, lymphangitis, you know when they get that bacteria and that swelling. I've fed this to those sorts of horses and I know a few of my clients where the horses have eaten from the rosemary bush when they've got that sort of issue. So sometimes horses actually do know what's good for them. Sometimes they don't, but sometimes they do. And it's really good for skin in general. So if a horse's coat isn't really that good, the mane and tail, you know, could do with a bit more lustre. A bit of rosemary leaf in their feed if they'll eat it may help with the coat because it has been known to enhance hair growth. It grows easily in drier climates. Um, I grew this one from a little plant about that size a few years ago now. I just stuck it in the ground. I was really naughty, didn't give it any love. It's very sandy soil, full sun, and it's done really well. It's just taken over. So it's a really handy to, herb to have around the stable. Hope that has motivated you to use a bit of rosemary and maybe cook with it even. Wishing you and your horses all the very best health and happiness.